Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about quadratic equations. Now, first, uh, I want to kind of go back several videos and remind you of uh, these linear equations that we solved earlier. These linear equations, uh, 6x minus 2 equals 10 in this example, uh, are called linear because every power on x is a 1. We solve these equations pretty simply. We got all the terms with x's in them on one side of the equation. We got all the other stuff on the other side of the equation. So in this case, we wanted to get the 6x by itself. In order to do that, we had to get rid of this minus 2. To do that, we add a 2 to both sides of the equation. That's going to cancel this stuff out. We can get a 6x equals 10 plus 2 is 12. Now we have a 6 multiplied by our x, and we want to get x by itself. To reverse that multiplication, we divide. That's going to cancel our 6's on the left side. On the right side, we're just going to get 12 divided by 6, which equals 2. That was solving a linear equation. Now, in this section, we're going to talk about solving quadratic equations. Say something like this, uh, 3x squared minus 5x uh, minus 6, or we'll say equals 6. <clears throat> this is called a quadratic equation because uh, while you do have an x with the first power on it here, you also have an x squared. The highest power on your x in this equation is a squared, is a, is a 2, so this is called a quadratic equation. Now the way that we solve this quadratic equation, uh, there are a couple steps. The first step is get everything on one side of the equation. Everything, whether it has an x in it or not. So we want to get everything on one side. This is our first step whenever we're solving a quadratic equation. Whenever you see an x squared in an equation, and square is the highest power, you want to get everything on one side of the equation. So the way that we do that is we can just subtract 6, right? Subtract 6 from this side, subtract 6 from that side. We're going to get 3x squared minus 5x minus 6 equals 6 minus 6. Those just cancel, and you get 0. Okay, so that's the first step. The next step is use the quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula is a little bit scary looking. Uh, eventually you'll get it. Um, if we call the coefficient on the x squared term a, we call the coefficient on the x term b, and we call the coefficient without the x, the constant, we call that c, uh, then what we have is a general form for a quadratic equation. This is the quadratic equation in general. a, b, and c can be any constants, any numbers. Now given any quadratic equation that looks like this, we can solve for x using this formula. And it's a big one. Negative b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac, whole thing divided by 2a. So, given this quadratic equation, a, b, and c are some numbers that you're given, you can take those numbers, plug it in to this quadratic formula here, and get your answer for x. Now, I know that's kind of ugly looking. Let's do an example. Uh, we were working on this problem up here. 3x squared minus 5x minus 6. Equals 0. So what we have here is a quadratic equation. In this case, if we can compare it to this general quadratic equation up here, we have a equals 3. We have b. It has a negative sign on it, you'll notice. So it's negative 5. C also has a negative sign on it in our problem. It's a negative 6. 
Now what we can do is we can plug A, B, and C for our problem into this start equation, the quadratic formula, and that'll be our answer for X. Let's see what happens. So, I see a B there. We're going to substitute in for B, negative 5. I'm going to keep copying. I see another b. We're going to substitute negative 5 in for that. That's squared. Minus 4. I see an a, which is a 3 in our example. The c in this equation is a negative 6 in our example. We're going to divide that whole thing by 2 times a. 2 times 3. Okay, great. So what we did is we were given a quadratic equation. A, uh, 3x squared minus 5x minus 6 equals 0. We decided that A was going to be 3, B was going to be negative 5, and C was going to be negative 6. Just from the equation we were given, we decided that. Then what we did is we said, well, we know the answer to this. We just have to plug it into this formula that we're given, the quadratic formula, to solve for x. We took all of our A's, B's, and C's and plugged them in to this big mess of an equation. We did that, and we got this result. Well, we need to simplify it a little bit, right? That looks pretty bad. So, um, so what we're going to do is uh, just kind of go through and simplify as much as we can. This negative, negative 5, that becomes a positive 5. Uh, negative 5 squared. Whenever you square a negative number, it becomes positive. In this case, negative 5 squared is 25. We have a negative, 4 times 3 is 12, and 12 times negative 6 is negative 72. So this is 25 minus negative 72. 2 times 3 is 6, so that's pretty easy to, um, to simplify. We need to simplify a little bit further. The stuff under the square root is not as simple as it can be. 25 minus a negative 72. So that's 25 plus 72, which, uh, what is that? Is that 97? I think it's 97. Copy down the 6, and this is our answer. It looks a little bit funny. Here's what it means. If you have the equation, 3x squared minus 5x minus 6, the x values that you can plug into that equation that satisfy that equation are 5 plus the square root of 97 divided by 6 and 5 minus the square root of 97 divided by 6. So our two answers are x equals 5 plus the square root of 97 over 6, and x equals 5 minus the square root of 97 over 6. Now, if you want to know what that is in maybe a decimal form, you're just going to have to use a calculator. Um, square root of 97, I don't know what that is. So, so you just, just have to plug it into a calculator. Um, if you're not allowed a calculator, then that's your answer. Why don't you try one of these on your own? Uh, let's say we have the equation, solve for x. We have the equation 2x squared plus 3x minus 6 equals 0. You want to solve that equation for x. Again, it's a quadratic equation. Give it a shot if you feel like it. Uh, hit pause on your video and come back and we'll work on it together.